Hola, bienvenidos a mi canal. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Calissa, and today I'm going to be talking all about brushes as you see by the title. I wanted to film. I feel like people always think, oh, getting the makeup is important. As long as you have the makeup, everything will be good, but honestly, the tools that you use to apply the makeup are just as important. I picked out ones that I know for sure that I use every single day that you guys actually see me use all the time because I never really list like the brushes that I use just because I forget um, the numbers and stuff but today if you ever need a reference video this is going to be it this is going to be the reference video these are the brushes that I feel that everybody needs brushes that I really love that work on me that I know work most of the brushes to be honest with you are morphe brushes I just really love morphe brushes I've never had one, I've only had one ever that I've ever bought that broke and I ended up getting a new one and the new one was fine. So I think the one that I got was just defective. All the Morphe brushes that I've bought, I have gotten very lucky. I have not had any problems. So very affordable and very high quality and they just get better and better. And the price, you cannot beat the price. You literally can get a full face of makeup brushes for like 50 bucks. And you go to MAC and you get a brush there and it's $50. And also, just before we get into the video, today's September 2nd. It's my best friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Valentina. I love you, baby girl. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> we actually had lunch earlier today, so that's why I also did my makeup. I painted my own nails. This is like an off-white off pink slash color, the one that I always use. It's uh, Let's Be Friends. The Hello Kitty and OPI collection. I literally have like three of them because it's my absolute favorite. And also if you can tell, you can't really see my pumpkin, but you could see I started decorating for Halloween and autumn. So you see my little hocus pocus right there and my little pumpkins right there. And look at my little pumpkin over here. Let's get on with the video. So I want to do eye brushes first and then I'm going to do face brushes. This first brush that I'm going to show you is by Sedona Lace and they were lovely enough to send me uh, I think a couple of their, I think they sent me like five brushes and I've been obsessed with this brush. This is the Sedona Lace EB11 brush and I love it because it looks very professional and these are like synthetic compact hairs and I use this brush to apply, this is actually kind of like a face brush, but it's a, it's a tiny brush, so I'm just going to mention it now before I go into the eyes. This is the um, brush that I use to apply my concealer to conceal certain areas on my skin, like certain blemishes or certain dark spots. And I also use this to clean up my lip line. And that's really what I use this for, but I love it. And they are very great priced, very good quality. Love Sedona Lace. Now, the next brushes that I always use literally every single day uh, are these two brushes. So these are what I use mainly for to carve out my eyebrows and then to shape my line and I also use this to clean up the lips as well so this first brush that I use this one is the MAC 242 brush this brush is amazing I have two of these and I should have gotten more because I swear that if I lose these I'm gonna be one unhappy camper I take care of my brushes very very well I'm telling you like when you look at my brushes they look practically brand new because I do not neglect my brushes but you could tell that I've had them for a long time because the lettering on the actual handle is almost gone so take care of your brushes guys especially when you spend a lot of money especially like on a MAC brush like this this is like $25 this brush I did work at MAC so I got a lot of them um, almost half, half, half off but this pricing is still it's still very expensive even half off Morphe is even less than that. Um, but I haven't found any single brush like this one. I've checked in Morphe and they don't have a brush like this. I've been wanting to find a dupe for this brush. Uh, just another brush that I can fall in love with so that if I have to get a backup or if I have to recommend it, I don't have to recommend this very expensive one because $25 for an eye 
brush is very expensive especially if I'm using it for what I'm using it for like this I know a lot of people use to pack on on their eyelids I don't I use this to carve out my eyebrows I love it I love that it's firm but it's still slightly flexible and bendable and I love the curve that it has so it really gets a clean line and it's very thin it's very thin, nice and flat. This is one of my favorite brushes ever and it makes my life so easy when I'm doing my eyebrows. And then to blend out that concealer around my eyebrows and around over here, if I have to blend in tiny areas around here, I love the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush and it looks like this. And I do have it in this shape as well. It's almost the same it's the 210 so I go in between these two any brushes that kind of look like this is what I use I just absolutely love this brush I love that it's firm compact has a lot of hairs and I really love it and I feel like hairs that transition like this and that have the white hair on the top are always best for creamier products okay so now for blending brushes I have five different blending brushes that I feel if you have these you don't need anything else for your eyes so I really love the E22 Morphe E22 brush it looks like this and I do have three of these just because they're only three dollars and are they three dollars yeah I think they're only like three or five dollars I think they're amazing to put that initial transition uh, crease so the first color that you apply on your eyelids right in the crease I use this brush for and I think it's perfect I love that it's rounded and it has like a tapered effect it's not pointed on the top it's rounded but it has shorter hairs on the side and longer hairs in the middle and I love it because it the hairs on the top apply the product and the smaller hairs around the brush blend the product so it really like makes your life super easy if you don't like morphe or you have this and you just don't love it or whatever else i do also love this nyx brush this is the number 16 brush and you guys have seen me use this a lot and i actually used it today to to apply my initial first shade i just think it's it's different in shape but it does the same job i love these to use as transition shades or at the end of my eyes when I have to blend everything out I'll go in with this so also I go in with this Morphe E22 brush the reason also why I have a couple of them is because when I contour my nose if I contour with a powder I'll go in with this and I'll blend it out right on my nose and it is small enough to just blend it out and not blend it out too much where I lose that definition that I did with the nose contour so I really love these two brushes for that now another blending brush that I love if you're one that you don't really do eyeshadow a lot or if you do eyeshadow um, only on the weekends and you need something to just kind of apply like definition like maybe you use your bronzer as a little bit of like color contour for your eyes I like this big big boy right here this one is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH 30 brush and this is bigger than the other brushes it looks like a big fat baby boy and you could see it is big like if you want to see in comparison to my eye it's a very big brush and I love it if you just need to take some of that bronzer that you're using and then just apply this color just sloppily right into the crease just for a little bit of definition if you don't want it to be completely bare I think this is really great for that I don't need it to be defined or anything I feel like the other two that I showed you the NYX and the Morphe uh, brushes I feel like these are more defined like when I want to put my transition shade but I want it in a specific area this one kind of just applies it like everywhere in the crease and I like them for different for different things for different reasons so the other two that I love this one I feel like I don't have anything else like this this is the e25 blending Sigma brush and I love this brush I know you can see it from here let me just put it like that I love 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 this brush because I feel like I'll go in with my deeper shades and I'll apply this 
right on the outer corner but also when I want that color to go right into the crease but not too much and not go too up because I do not like colors next to the brow bone I feel like it just looks very messy so when I want it very defined or I go in if I'm doing like a smoky brown eyeshadow or if I went in today with something a little bit darker I would go in with this brush because that would just apply the darkness right wherever I put the brush is where it applies it so I love this this is very precise but it's a blending brush so it helps to really blend out the color so it does the work for you and you don't have to struggle with using big brushes it just applies it in the most perfect area and I love this brush this brush is very expensive too this one's like $25 uh, but I feel like no other brand has a brush like this it is similar to the 217 brush by mac but the 217 one is a little bit longer and this one is a little bit shorter and a little bit wider so it really helps to create that depth for you so that's why i love this blending brush that i love is the morphe and jaclyn hill jh40 this one is a tiny defining it's precise so i love it because it has a longer hair it is skinnier and i love this when i need definition in my crease so if you want to go in with like a black but you really kind of want to just have like that line kind of mimicking like a cut crease but you don't want to do like the whole concealer under this or you don't really know how to do that or if you want to do black but you don't want the black to go everywhere which can happen with a big brush i go in with this and it just defines wherever i put the product literally this is going to apply it or what I love using this brush for is if you do have a cut crease and you apply that dark color and you need it to be buffed out, this is perfect because it literally blends it buffing up and it's not too big so it doesn't buff it everywhere and you can still have that definition when you do that cut crease. It'll just blend this that color that you want that's right on the crease, it'll buff it out. And if you want have any questions on any of these or I can actually use these in a tutorial to show you what I'm talking about, I can do that too. So just let me know. Now the next brush that I love is I have like six of these. I know this is ri completely ridiculous and I don't need that many but I don't know why. It was just a period of time where I was like I need a whole bunch of them because I use this every day and I use this every single day. This is the MAC 239 brush. I love this brush so much. Looks like this. I like it because it is flat, but it's not too flat and it's rounded and it just fits perfectly on my lid. So I love to use this to apply my shimmer shades, my matte shades all over across my lid and glitter. And anything that you're gonna put on the lid, I absolutely love it. This because it really just grabs all the product, packs it on, and you don't have to be going in and digging into the eyeshadow so many times to get the pigmentation that you want. I feel like this just does it for you, and I love this brush. Now, the next brush that I really love is the Morphe E36 brush, and this is a tiny little baby. I love this brush for the inner corner highlight, for brow bone highlight, and also for nose precise highlighting that's really what I use this puppy for so I grabbed the Sigma one but the Morphe one is almost the same exact so I'll just show you guys the Morphe one this is the M432 brush and I love it because it is flat straight edge and what I use this for is to apply underneath for precise application if I need to go in with like a black underneath on my lower lash line or like a dark brown and I don't want it to go everywhere or even just like my transition shade this just precisely applies the eyeshadow underneath and also helps to buff it out if I'm doing more like theatrical looks it helps to buff out the product but still be precise about it okay so those are all the eye brushes that i recommend that i really love now i'm going to show you the face brushes there isn't like a crazy amount of them there is just the ones that i need so before we go into the brushes i just want to show you the sponges that i really love i do love the beauty blenders by beauty blender and i have almost every single color but they are very expensive they're like twenty dollars uh, so I'm not going to show you those. The ones that I have been, the one that I have been using that I really love, are Real Techniques. I know it's dirty. I didn't have time to wash it, but this I wash this every single, before every single use. So this is always clean. Once I go in with it in my um, skin, I never used to clean them every single day before, but I don't know what happened. I just started cleaning them every single day, and now I literally, before I sit down and do my makeup, I go and I wash both of these beauty blenders. So this one I love. It just buffs out 
it just applies the foundation and concealer and blends it out really well and I love it love the texture it's very squishy and then it has this um that this jelly kind of consistency that's supposed to mimic like a fingertip so sometimes I use this to apply moisturizer if I really don't want to use my hands but I really don't use this side too often so you can just get the regular orange one the actual texture of the sponge is amazing so I love this and then to apply my setting powder I always use the Laura Mercier powder puff love that one but what I've been using lately that's more affordable that I really love is this real technique sponge but it is a microfiber sponge so it has kind of like this soft like hairs and I love it because it feels very squishy and this is I use this wet so it picks up the powder and it applies it so flawlessly and it just fills in all of my pores really nicely and it's very affordable so I love it so now let's move on to the face brushes so I'm gonna show you the two brushes that I use for cream so this real techniques 200 brush this is the expert face brush love the shape of this I like that it is compact it has a lot of hair and it is slanted and I use this to blend out my cream contour I really love it it fits perfectly in all the areas like on the forehead um, on the cheekbones and I think it's amazing. Hey dad. I'm good. I had Vietnamese food. Yeah. So the next brush that I use for cream products is the Morphe E20 brush and this one is a small compact type of brush as well this is a smaller version of the expert face brush I love this when I have to blend out cream contouring on my nose or in very precise areas like concealer I love this um, that's what I use it for brushes that I use for powder so the morphe r2 brush I love it it is a big fat boy if you see compared to like my cheek compared to my hand this is a very big brush I love this to bronze my skin or at the end of my makeup you know when you look at yourself sometimes and you're like dang I kind of look like a little bit too fair I'll go in with bronzer like th around the perimeters of my face and just coat my skin with bronzer and to bronzify my makeup I use this it's not very precise but it fits like the hollows it kind of applies it like sloppily not in a sloppy way just in a very like diffused like not specific type of area that's why I love this especially if you're very natural and you don't like to look too like like contoured and all that this is a really nice brush to just apply and bronze the skin or if you just use bronzer this is a good brush for you this brush is the morphe r10 brush and I love this for precise contouring so when you need definition and you apply a contouring powder or a deeper powder if you bronze and then you contour this is a really nice brush to actually stick right into the hollows and up next to the hair area and you don't want it to be sloppy or anything like that or if you have a smaller face this is really good because it actually like fits right into the cheeks I love white haired brushes because I feel like it blends products really well and it is very defining now this is this is my favorite brush this is the Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush I only have one of these which I should have more but I only have one of them but this is my favorite brush ever and I love this to perfect my under eye and what I mean is this is what I use to dust off my baking when I apply to blend out any powder or anything that I have or like if I've went somewhere and then came back and like was touching up my makeup I would use this brush to just dust off any hair or any eyeshadow fallout from my eyes and I think that this brush is perfect and I feel like everybody needs it and it is affordable and it is so good just the hairs are just so perfect and I can't live without you baby this brush is amazing this is the e49 brush and this is very similar to the cream brush that I showed you which was the e20 brush but this one is bigger I love it because it is flatter than most brushes thicker in the middle 
thin on the top so I really love it to actually the shape of it is great to pack on powders so what I'll do is I'll take my studio fix powder in a very light shade and I'll use this brush to apply that powder underneath my eye on my chin uh, any perfecting powders that I use I use this brush to apply it and I feel like it just packs on that powder and diffuses it and makes it look very smooth and I love it it doesn't give me no calls for complaints now all we have is three brushes left and then we're set to go so these two brushes I know that I'm showing you two brushes for blush but I just go in between both of these so when I want more of a flushed blush type this brush is a little bit bigger love using this brush and applying blush like this with the longer tip facing towards my eye and I love it I feel like the hairs are very soft but there's a lot of them and it's it's compact but it's still very flexible and it applies blush in a very nice way this is more of like a diffused looking blush if you want to apply blush like almost on the whole entire cheek or if you have a blush that is very natural and you just want that color then you can apply it with this brush and it'll give you just like that beautiful air airy type of blush if you know what I mean. this is the m530 brush and it looks like this and i love this for precise application of blush so if you want to be very chiseled and you want that definite defined cheek i go in with this and it is amazing you like to put blush in a very specific area this brush is really good for that now the last brush that i love 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 is the morphe e3 so this is a big boy i love this because it is different from your average kind of powder brush i feel like it is very big but they cut a lot of the hairs and it is tapered and i love that and what i take with this is i just take my studio fix powder in my skin tone shade or a perfecting powder or a face powder and i'll apply that all around this area of my face and also up here to blend out the contour and the foundation or just kind of anywhere I just feel like it's big enough to just apply product quickly but it is cut in a way where wherever you put the brush it's going to apply the product right there it's not gonna go everywhere I don't really use this so often I've been having to use it more now because I don't even I have no idea what's been going on with my skin or my foundation I just feel like all the time I put my foundation it just looks whack wackiana so I've been going in with perfecting powders and perfecting my skin and then it looks like it look good but yeah this is a really good brush but an important key to having and maintaining your brushes is cleaning them make sure you clean your brushes very well I use the beauty blender soap balm I actually use the pro one so it's the black one and it's like gigantic or literally lasts me like two years and I use that to clean my beauty blenders and then to clean my brushes I use the professional grade makeup brush cleanser this is by cinema secrets and I get this and I usually go through two or three bottles of these a year and these are quite expensive these are like $38 but all I do is you do not have to dilute this I put it in a little clear dish that I have and you dip in the brush and then I have a black towel that I got in Walmart and I just swirl my brush in the black towel and this comes out completely brand new and I love that it has like a it has like a cinnamon vanilla y scent. It is strong at first, but it doesn't irritate my skin at all and it washes the brushes so well. You can literally split the hair all the way in two and there's no product in there. It is completely brand new. This, I cannot live without it. I do not use anything else. This is amazing and it's fast, reliable, and this comes with 32 ounces. Of liquid and now that I think about it 38 bucks is not really that much because I've with this much I've cleaned my brushes already maybe like 15 times 
Yeah, so I I use this very specifically and this is what I use to clean my personal brushes as well as my kit because I feel like it takes away all of the bacteria, it takes away everything. It literally is like a brand new brush all the time you use it so I love it. So get this and then get yourself a black towel from Walmart and you are good to go. Now that is all I have to talk about today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of cool stuff on there. I'm a little bit more active on my Instagram when I'm not posting on my on my YouTube but it is my birthday month and I might come back with a gift from a Virgo series. I just have to be more creative. So that's all I have to tell you guys. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell in order to be notified of when I post new videos. And these extensions just got me feeling some type of way, girl. And also how cute. I'm just, I'm here for fall. I'm here for it. Send me the good vibes. Please, God, let this season be, be good. Please, God. That is all I have to tell you guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope my little bambas have a blessed day. Bye.